shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely. Bill! What? I'm really excited as today you're going to meet some of the cast of Bill that I've interviewed on set. Can each of you tell us a bit about the main characters you play in Bill? My main character is King Philip II of Spain. He's the villain of the piece, or one of the two villains. So he hatches a plot to undermine Elizabeth's uh, hold on the throne in England. I play Anne Hathaway, who's um, Bill's uh, wife, long-suffering wife. Um, in the film, He's got lots of ideas and, and dreams and aspirations of what he wants to do with his life and she's just sick of hearing about them and she just wants him to come home and be the family man that he should be. Vegetables! Not exactly. Oh my god. I play uh, the Earl of Croydon, who everyone thinks is called the Earl of Crawley, much to his annoyance. In, in order to get into uh, the cool gang, he joins up with King Philip II of Spain and gets involved in this sort of plot. Um, he's very devious and, and evil. I play uh, Francis Walsingham, uh, who thinks he's Batman. Uh, in our version of the film, he was one of uh, Queen Elizabeth's courtiers. He was also a spy, uh, and he was always trying to stop plots to uh, kill the Queen. The film is a comedy, so what are some of the silliest moments that we can look forward to seeing? They're mostly done by Simon, actually. <laughs> Simon's our silliest Simon. person. <laughs> I throw a lot of pan saucepans at Larry's mm. head. I That's think they, 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 they were chamber pots. Mm. Saucepans makes it sound like oh, they've yeah. got food in it, and I don't think that was good. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, technique. That was my favourite day. I, I, I laid in bed uh, throwing things at Larry's head, yeah. which is like my dream come true. Um, <laughs> again, I dress up as a sausage. Mm. So that's something to look forward to. King Philip's gang are, are idiots, essentially. So there's lots mm. of funny moments. Yes! Embarrassing. Cheeky. What are you doing in a pie? It's a disguise. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dead. Did your work on horrible histories um, prepare you for um, this um, project? I think absolutely, because, you know, obviously in, in horrible histories we got to play such a, a wide range of characters. Um, so, yeah, this was, this was going back to what we love doing, really, is, 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 playing, is playing multiple characters of, of, you know, various statuses. And so, yeah, definitely, 100%. And prepared us for all the hair and makeup that we, <laughs> <to go> through, <laughs> that we have to go through to achieve each, each character look. Even from a writing point of view, you know, Larry and Ben, we all met on Horrible History, so we become great friends and we work together so they know what we can do so that when they were writing the film in the first place, they were thinking of us playing yeah. those, the roles that we ended up playing. We looked at the first few lines we wrote and we went, well, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> who, who do we know <laughs> who could possibly bring him to life? So when you were at school, did you have these sort of opportunities as well? Or what was it like? My English and drama teacher, who was the same guy, was just tremendously uh, enthusiastic um, and really uh, encouraged me. So I have a lot to thank him for in particular. But in terms particularly of film, the difference now is um, the, the technology that's available, mm. the, the making a film, the, the, the kind of barriers to entry, what the equipment that you needed in order to do it was incredible in our, our day and you just you wasn't available, whereas now you know, that everything can be done on yeah. a Mac. Other computers are available. <laughs> um, if you're interested in acting, and we had an acting club at school. It's a good way to start, I think, just sort of, um, and it's fun as well, you know. I discovered that I like doing comedies and that even if I did serious plays, people would laugh anyway. <laughs> so, um, Do you have any advice for anybody who would want to go into theatre or films? Do you have like drama group here or drama club? Yeah, just anything like that or you're in, you know, where you live, like locally, if, the, if there are theatre groups. I, I was a member of a, a, a theatre group in Birmingham where I lived um, that met every Saturday and, mm. you know, you'd put on plays every three months or whatever, or, or in my case it was musicals, <laughs> although I can't do musical theatre anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, weird. Yeah. Don't worry that you're no good at it. 
because uh, wow. I'm, because I'm, so good. <laughs> really no, but I think I think people you mean worry. It, you mean if at first? Yeah, I and mean, I was sort of, oh, I'll be no good at it. Oh, people will <laughs> laugh at me, and it doesn't really matter. Like, just go and have fun. It's really easy to go. Okay, this is what I really want to do. So by the age of 21, I should be accepting my Oscar. You know, it's, it's an industry <laughs> yeah. where things can take a little while. How long do you spend on set? Roughly. So like Bill was uh, seven weeks, mm. seven weeks. The actual amount of time that you spend on set in a day Sorry, yeah, is, uh, mm. yes, is, is hugely long. I mean, it's like 11 hours. <laughs> but mm. the day you film for 11 hours, typ typically, you start, typically you start filming at eight in the morning and they finish at seven at night, but that's when you actually start, the cameras start rolling. So you have to be in early enough to be put into makeup and have all of your beard stuck on and your hair um, arranged and put into costume. It's tremendously good fun. Do you get like off days if you're ill? Oh, yeah. that's a good you're question. No, that's, a good, that's a good question. Yeah, the show, the show <laughs> must go on. There's a great uh, Yonderland uh, last time uh, we did it, Martha. Martha was under the weather for a good couple of weeks. Yeah. She soldiers on, didn't you? Yeah, you, you have to. <laughs> they can't. They can't rewrite the scenes if you're. You know, the schedule is so tight. Like Ben was saying earlier, yeah. you you just there's no room for for that sort of for. Illness. Yeah, and actually, before you start, before you start doing something big like a film, we all of us go to a doctor, and the doctor mm. checks you out and says, Are you, you know, you got to sign a form to say, yeah, I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine, I haven't broken my arm at all. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> if you have broken your arm, you know, then then um, that's going to affect, you know, yeah. shooting. But I mean, if you fall ill, they'll, people, all the people around you, will do everything to get you mm. propped up and in front of the camera. <laughs> I was wondering if you have a favourite scene or a favourite character that isn't your own. <laughs> There's a scene where, where me, Simon and Jim play this little gang of assassins and it's the first time that we're, we meet Philip. Um, and it was a really fun scene which starts off being a very dramatic scene about this plan to um, uh, assassinate the, the Queen of England um, and ends up being about food allergies. And it was a really, really good fun uh, scene to film. Although I, it's very, very hot. That's the other thing that should be said. Our costumes and wigs and all of makeup is very, very hot. And for the first time in my life, I did faint while we were filming that yeah, scene. Yeah, it was extraordinary. And um, everyone else gathered around apart from Simon, who was stood next to me at this point. And I came round to be aware of him just looking down at me. And he went, oh, I thought he was just like doing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a montage scene where um, Bill meets Christopher Marlowe and he needs help writing a script. Um, I can't give too much away, but there's a lovely montage set to music of, mm. of them, the, the process of them, of them getting to, to the finished product. So I, I like that scene, it's fun. I really enjoyed the first scene we shot in the film, which was when I first come round to the Earl of Croydon's house. Yeah. It was the first time I stepped on set as King Philip and I had my costume on and the sword and it just felt great to finally uh, sort of come out and, and perform the character for, for real. There's a really lovely scene at the end of the <laughs> film. <laughs> but the only way you can possibly know what Simon's talking about is, is to, to go watch the, the film. film. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> clever answer. <laughs> really good, it's really clever. I've written a great work for the stage. You're not a writer. People will remember the name Shakespeare. 20 years from now! Yes, I like this guy.